This is an heirlooms tier list. I have about 2000 hours in the game. I have five out of the current 14 heirlooms. I had a little bit of trouble making this video because originally I had started with just putting heirlooms onto the tier list. But while it is objective, I was actually having trouble debating on some of the heirlooms. So from there, I was like, well, I have a degree in electrical engineering and a minor in mathematics. I currently work as a full-time engineer. So I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. I broke everything down into three categories. I decided to ignore whether the heirloom fit the lore of the legend or not, because not everybody cares about the lore. The three categories are, does it look cool? The inspect animations and general animations. So that would be if you inspect it, what does it look like? Obviously, Rates is very boring. She has one inspect animation. It's not very interesting. What does it look like whenever you pull it out? What does it look like when you slide, crouch, etc.? And then the final category is the juggle animation. And I care about this one a lot. You'll see Wraith mains doing this all the time. And that's constantly inspecting it. So you can jitter it. You can do a full flip. Watson's has a perfect juggle animation. It's the spin. It looks really good. You can jitter it. You can do the full spin. This is what I call a juggle animation. Some of the legends don't have very good ones, but I enjoy doing this as I'm running around the map. So based on that, I made this Excel sheet looking at look, inspect animations and juggle for all the heirlooms and the heirloom skins. Now, of course, this is still biased. This is as objective as I can be about this, but overall it's gonna be down to personal taste, but this is my opinion on it. So for S tier, we only have one heirloom that I would consider S tier. And that is Revenant's Heirloom. Revenant's Heirloom's look is amazing. It fits Revenant perfectly. It looks great on the screen. It's just really cool. It has great animations and particle effects. The inspects on it are pretty cool. The overall animations on it are pretty cool. And the juggle animation is pretty solid. He like flips it around in his hands. For A tier Heirlooms, we have Valk's Heirloom. Valk's Heirloom is pretty on par with Revenant's but it takes up a lot of the screen and I don't enjoy the look quite as much. The inspects are great. Its overall animations are okay, although some of them are a little bit jarring, but they are well done. And its juggle animation is fairly solid. Also in A tier, we have Octane's Heirloom. Octane's Heirloom fits Octane perfectly. It's a butterfly knife. He's always jittering with it. Its animations are pretty cool. Its inspects are just okay, but its juggle animation is also solid. We have Watson's Heirloom also in A tier. I think a lot of people would debate me on this, the quote unquote Walmart scanner, but I actually think Watson's Heirloom is really cool. The inspects are cool. I just, but the juggle animation carries this heirloom for me. I love it. Also the melee animations are pretty solid too. Again, some people either love or hate Gibby's Heirloom. I personally love Gibby's Heirloom. I feel like it makes his run animations smoother on my screen. I, I love hitting people with the frying pan. The sounds are really great with the heirloom. I also like the juggle animation. Although it is a little bit jittery, I still enjoy it. I also have Wraith's heirloom in A tier. This is carried by the fact that I think it looks really cool. And also its juggle animation is pretty great, but its inspect animations are terrible. It doesn't really have any. And after they updated the particle effects, it is a little bit better. Now in B tier, we have Caustic's Heirloom. I think Caustic's Heirloom is really, really underrated. I think it's just a lot of people don't really enjoy flaunting Caustic's Heirloom, but I think it's actually really solid. It has some really cool stuff going on with it. It's very over the top, which is just like every single voice line that Caustic has is over the top. Now, depending on who you are, you may or may not like the mythic skins in general. I personally don't really enjoy the mythic skins. There's so many great skins out there. I don't like the idea of having mythic skins. I do think that the Bloodhound mythic skin looks pretty cool. I think it, it is solid and I really like its finisher on it, but uh, it's overpriced and that's why it's in B tier. Same thing with the Bangalore skin. Although I think the Bangalore skin actually does look better than the Bloodhound skin. Once again, I think these skins are kind of overpriced. I, I don't really agree with having mythic skins in general because the only people who see your skins are the people who see your banners. Uh, whereas you can really enjoy the heirloom every single time you play. But I think hers is pretty cool and it definitely actually looks better than Bloodhounds. And the final heirloom in B tier is actually Bangalore's. Bangalore's is simple, but that's what makes it great. Number one, the glowing yellow, just perfect. It's pretty cool. 
It's simple. It looks nice. I like the animations that she has when running around. It's juggle animations okay. Now, some of you are going to hate me for this. I actually really don't like Crypto's heirloom. I know some people are like, it fits him. I think it's a little bit ugly and clunky. I don't enjoy the color scheme, even though the color scheme obviously fits Crypto. This is very, very objective, obviously, but I, I just don't enjoy Crypto's heirloom all that much. Another one which I just think is overrated and uh, kind of outdated is Lifeline's heirloom. I never really liked it. I, I don't really get the appeal. Now, ironically, the next heirloom up is Bloodhound's heirloom in C tier. This was the first heirloom I ever had, so it's kind of funny that it goes into C tier. The look, I think, is actually pretty cool, but of course, the inspects aren't there, and its juggle animation sucks, so... Now, down in D tier, I've got Pathy's Heirloom. I, I don't like its animations on the screen. I think it's kind of cool, and I guess it kind of fits him, but uh, I just never really enjoyed uh, seeing it on the screen, which is why I don't own it. But every time I do see somebody with it, it just blocks a bunch of the screen. It just doesn't look that great. I think it'd be cooler if there was uh, some cooler, like, juggle animations where you could, like, you know, punch out with it, you know, when you're running around. But uh, unfortunately, that's just not the way it is. Also in detail is Rampart's Heirloom. It's a wrench with bubble gum. It's cool, I guess, but it's just okay. And I don't know, in between D and E tier, we've got Mirage's Heirloom. I've just never been overly impressed with Mirage's Heirloom. I guess it fits him, but I think, you know, Mirage's background, I, I didn't really judge it based on this. I think the Heirloom just kind of sucks in general. It's just kind of weird. But, you know, Mirage's background, yes, he's conceited and, you know, he's vain. But he's like, he does that as a cover for all the shit that's gone on in his life. And I didn't judge it based on that. I just don't like the look of it. Uh, the inspects and animations are okay. The juggle is meh. So, guys, that's my tier list. I'm going to have the link for my Discord and the ability to make your own version of this tier list in the description. Feel free to drop by and let me know what you think. Because at the end of the day, this is all opinion.